Hello and welcome to Northeast Media Hub, the fastest growing digital media platform. I am Adalbert Khar with the latest Hub news. Be informed, be alert. The prescribed Nyotrep National Liberation Council or HNLC on Wednesday authorized its Vice Chairman Man Bhalang Jirwa and Foreign Secretary Prang Kopar Dingdo to participate in the ongoing tripartite peace talks between the Government of India, Government of Meghalaya and the outfit. HNLC General Secretary come Information Secretary San Kopar Nongtrao said this time the HNLC is positive about the initiative taken by the MDA Government as well as the approval made by the NDA Government at the centre. He also said the decision to send their top leaders to engage in in the ongoing peace talks is due to the trust that has been built between the HNLC and the appointed interlocutors Shri A.K. Mishra, Ministry of Home Affairs, retired IPS, Peter Dekhar, retired IAS, the representative Ba Sadon Bla and the HNYF. The two incumbent MLAs of the Hill State People's Democratic Party or HSPDP are set to leave the party to contest the assembly elections next year from a different party. Two MLAs are PHE Minister Renikton Lingdo Tongkhar from Maukarwat constituency and former Cabinet Minister Samlin Malnyang from Soyong. Speculations arrive that Tongkhar will be contesting from the United Democratic Party or UDP while Malnyang will be contesting on a National People's Party or NPP ticket. Moving on, on Wednesday, Education Minister Lakman Rimboy made it clear that the agitating contractual teachers won't be reinstated. He said that the process of recruitment has already been completed and whoever is qualified only will get appointed, adding that the teachers have to understand that they were appointed on a temporary basis. Reacting to the opposition's allegation that the students are suffering for the third year in a row earlier due to COVID-19 and now because of the lack of teachers in the classroom, Rimboy admitted that there are some schools without teachers, but the government will only appoint appoint teachers through advertisement and those who qualify will be appointed after passing the Meghalaya Teacher Eligibility Test or MTET. One cadre of the All Adivasi National Liberation Army, AANLA, surrendered through the 18 Garhwal Regiment of the Army and 171 Battalion of the CRPF at the Superintendent of the Police Office in Dibrugar on Wednesday. The AANLA cadre, identified as David Brajnayak, age 31, surrendered before Dibrugar SP Shwetank Mishra with one 0.32mm pistol, one magazine and three rounds of bullets. The surrendered ultra is a resident of the Nabil village of the Golaghat district. The search operation to trace the three remaining labourers out of 19 who went missing from a road construction site in Arunachal Pradesh, Kurung Kumi district has been suspended after over three weeks. Kurung Kumi Deputy Commissioner Nighi Bengia said there is no further hope of rescuing the remaining three missing labourers as the areas have already been thoroughly searched by the SDRF and police teams. Of the 19 missing workers, 10 were rescued while the bodies of five labourers were found in a decomposed condition. One of them drowned in the Furak River. Two suspected terrorists were arrested from a Mumbai-bound flight at Kathmandu's Tribhuvan International Airport on Wednesday after Nepal police received an information that two suspected terrorists were on board the flight. All passengers were offloaded. The Central Bureau of Investigation has arrested two people believed to be husband and wife. The police had received an information from Kailai District Police that the accused were linked with some terrorist organisations and were travelling to Mumbai. India's Lovepreet Singh won a bronze in men's 109kg to continue the country's medal rush in weightlifting at the Commonwealth Games in Birmingham on Wednesday. The 24-year-old from Punjab lifted a total of 355kg, including a new national record of 192kg in clean and jerk to finish third on the podium. He lifted 163kg in snatch. India have so far won eight weightlifting medals, including three goals in the showpiece. Thank you for listening to Harp Podcast. For latest news and updates, follow us on www.harpnetwork.in. Download Harp News app in your mobile from Google Play Store and Apple App Store. For promotion and publicity, write to us at info at Thank you. Kublai Shibon, Mithela. 